Unlocking your door with a key is so old-fashioned, it's time to hack your door lock. Let's build the DIY electronic Popsy Lock. Oh, why do we call it that? Because we'll be using popsicle sticks for part of this build. Oh, and the code is easy to change if the knock ever falls into the wrong hands. Now here are all the materials we'll need for the project, and I'll show you where you can get all of these for less than 20 bucks later on in the video. The first thing we need to build is the mechanical arm that turns the lock. Now you can think of it as your robot replacement for a bouncer, and we're gonna make it all with those popsicle sticks. You can use hot glue and paper clips, or if you have a drill like I do, nuts and bolts. And this is a little bit better popsicle art than you probably made in preschool. Just take a look at some of these shots and you can see basically how it's constructed and it'll fit around your deadbolt door lock. Now we need something to turn this mechanical popsicle arm and we're going to be building a circuit that'll control that. It's a pretty easy circuit that can tell the difference between different kinds of knocks, so you make sure you have it programmed for the knock you want. The brains of the organization will be an AT Mega 8 microcontroller and an LM358 op amp, but we're going to need some other components to make it all work together, like resistors and capacitors and a crystal oscillator, quite a few components, but again, this is not a hard build, and I'm not going to take you through step by step of how to do it, but I will make the schematic available for you for free on KipK.com. The piezo element is one component, and that's what's going to hear the knocks and allow the door to lock or unlock. Now, once the circuit's done, the last thing to do is install the two chips. The AT Mega 8 microcontroller, make sure all those legs are straight and push it in place. And then also the LM358 op amp chip. Okay, now we're going to need some hot glue and some more popsicle sticks because we need to make a base for our electronics. So by using some hot glue, we'll put two sticks together and glue our circuit board to that and do the same on the other side. Now it's time to mount our servo motor. This is what's going to actually turn our mechanical arm. So we'll hot glue that in place. And then also for some added security, I took some copper wire and ran it around the ends of the servo motor and around the popsicle sticks and hot glued it all together. Okay, giving it some power and some knocks and you can see our circuit is working. Now, in order to connect the mechanical arm to the servo, we need the servo connector that comes with it. So we're going to super glue that in place. All right, I've mounted the mechanical arm to my deadbolt, and I Velcroed my electronics right above that and gave it power. It's time to test it out with three knocks. It works like a charm. And don't forget, that knock can be changed to any combination you want. Okay, now you want to know how to get all this stuff and build your own. It's simple. The basic kit comes with a mini servo, which will pull upwards of 3 kilogram force of centimeters of torque. What that means is it can turn most loose deadbolts with ease. The kit features an ultra-sensitive piezoelectric sensor that will detect knocks, taps, kicks, and licks of all kinds. Included is the microcontroller that's pre-programmed to open with three knocks, no programming required. Now, if you want to take this project up a notch, you can get the premium kit. It features a beefy servo that can exert three times more force, which can turn even the toughest of deadbolts. Included in the kit is the piezoelectric sensor, but also parts for a keypad, so you can choose which opening mechanism you'd want to install. And just like the beginner kit, the keypad is pre-programmed, but both are reprogrammable. Now, if you want to build this kit, you can definitely grab the schematics and buy the parts yourself. The parts will set you back about 40 bucks. But as a convenience for my faithful fans, I've turned it into a kit and made it available at a super affordable price that starts at 10 bucks. All the kits come with access to my free online learning portal with full in-depth online tutorials with HD video and photos, as well as a forum where you can ask other members for help and share your build, plus a live chat every month with me, Kip K. Check out both of these kits by heading to KipKKits.com. There's also a link in the description of this video. This is a Kip K exclusive, so you can't get a kit like this anywhere else. So you need to grab them before they're all gone. Well, I hope you enjoyed how to make the electronic Popsy Lock. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.